here's Johnny. Hey. Haven't done these for a while. Since I went out and watched two movies in a row in two days, I don't know why I stopped. I did see other movies, but when I tried writing something about them they already were months out. Anyway, these two movies are the start of a string I want to go see. Will I go see each one I don't know? The Amazing Spider-Man 2 I started writing about this, along with the, the other Marvel comic movies. Which I still going to do. Anyway, when I heard about the rebooting Spider-Man, it did bother me. They never actually finished the story, but they did totally ruin my favorite villain in the third one. Now for the second movie of the reboot. Okay, I've been listening to all of stupid shit about putting three villains into it. For me, how they did in a way it worked. They did the main villain which needed a better backstory. Other than a delky guy getting powers than turning evil. When he actually turns evil he kick ass. I'm just glad they didn't go with the older green and yellow suit of Electro now turning to Green Goblin. First of all, I'm too used to Norman Osborn as him, not Harry. The way he introduced him it was fine, added him in right place I guess. Killing Gwen Stacy, like in the comic book. For the third one I don't know really why they added the Rhino in it for the last 10 minutes. Which they should left him as is. Not a stupid ass cyborg type thing. And basically he could have been left out of it. Until the next installment. Which I heard it's with the Sinister Six. Okay I don't know still what I think of this incarnation of Spider. Man yet, writings did need a little help. I still say Spidey should be added to the Avengers universe but again movie studios are done with that shit. The next movie is... Godzilla. Okay I've been a Godzilla fan since I was a kid. Well any big ass monster movie. Something about seeing a creature stumping down a city or attacking some other thing. Cool for me no matter how cheesy it looks. But now with CGI some of them look more realistic. But down the road those are going to look cheesy. Anyway about the movie. Everyone I see on YouTube goes back to the 1998 Godzilla nobody liked. Funny thing I was one I sorta did like it. Even though I thought it was really stupid. They made him an unisex mutated large iguana than the classic look. For the new one. I glad they went back to the normal look, even though Japan said they him too fat. I liked it. Shit it's frickin' Godzilla, but the story was a little weak. Well what would you expect in a monster movie? Only thing that bugged me the trailer is overly solved it dramatically with that one guy. He was only in it like 10, 20 minutes and then they killed him off. Then it was just Godzilla destroying San Francisco, trying to fight them giant buck things. Which I thought it would have been better they would have thrown in one of his traditional enemies than them buck things. I did like it. It was fun. Although I was buzzed up before I saw it and I had a beer in the movie. I guess I would have had fun any which way. <laughs> Anyhow, I gotta edit this. Until my next video. Um.